Our next overhead support uh, can be done with kettlebells. I like them just because they sit a little more comfortable, but dumbbells will work just as well for this exercise. Uh, however, you can just get two of the weights overhead. You can certainly do this with a barbell, but I like doing it with two separate weights because it requires more stability. And from here, you're just going to support it. And this is something you can do for time, but also the harder version is to walk around. It's a really simple exercise to do, hard to do wrong, but the idea is just to keep these overhead as you walk around, go for distance or go for time. This is something that can be done with a fairly light weight and you go a longer distance or longer time. You can also work with something pretty heavy and keep it much shorter. Uh, phenomenal exercise that's really gonna build that stability, that staying power overhead that not a lot of people have. Uh, what will happen as you start to fatigue is the arms will start to bend a little bit. You want to keep them locked out, try to rely on that structure, which is why it's actually good for overhead flexibility as well. Because if you're relying on structure, you'll actually be stronger rather than bending the arms because you don't have the flexibility to hold that position quite so well. Why I like the kettlebell is that the weight is behind you and that can help pull your arm back just slightly, assist in that manner versus the dumbbell.